This painting used to be uh, one of my lily pad projects. You can see the two lily pads right there and there. And I painted over them uh, with spray paint. And then for the beginning of the circles, I also took styrofoam plates and cut out circles and did some printing. And then I just began painting over top of the old painting. I am playing around a lot right here, just putting down some extra paint, getting the face laid out and the shape. I did some, uh, like this is kind of an underpainting still, I guess, maybe. I don't really know. Uh, but just play in there. And so this painting was actually based on the children's class that I did when we did the Aboriginal design, Aboriginal paintings. There were lots of symbolism from the paintings dealing with water. And so I wanted to play around with the ideas of water and baptism and some different symbols within the Christianity, but also just life in general, where baptism, you go down into the water and then you come back up and you're still in this, like, you're still in life. There's still the like struggles, which I kind of depicted with the circles and the red colors. But then there's also like this rain that's washing things away. So I grew up Lutheran and uh, Luther had a lot of really interesting writings about the remembrance of baptism and what that meant. And so when I was younger, I every time it rained, I remembered my actual baptism in the sense of like thinking about it, thinking of water and those symbols. And so like, rain and water to me have always played a significant role in my personal faith life. And then also I believe in uh, believer's baptism as well. And so that's the bottom part of the water or the river that one would be baptized in for a believer's baptism. So that's a little bit of the symbolism behind this painting. I also have been playing around with editing a bit more. I, I think that my editing skills are not great. That's something that I really want to improve, and it's something that I enjoy, but I want to be better at. I just posted a video where I played around with editing from uh, our church's most recent baptism. It was actually really neat because the girl in the video is a friend uh, from church, and her dad and our pastor were baptizing her. And the same pastor uh, baptized me for my believer's baptism a little over a year before I did the video footage. But I'll talk a little bit about that video in this video because I, all I did was I sang in the background of it. Um, I'm not necessarily a great singer, but I do like there are like certain songs I just enjoy singing. And so I was singing for that. And so you can hear the song, Let's Go Down to the River to Pray. And if you want to hear me sing, that's the video to do it because I'm not going to do it in this one at all. Uh, maybe there will be a voiceover somewhere. I don't know. We'll see how long I have. But um, in that video, yeah, it's, I had a lot of fun just playing with the editing. I took different shots from the same river from uh, different places on the river and then uh, different shots from the baptism and the people walking down. And you should go check it out. Uh, if you have tips for editing, let me know in there too because I think I could have done better. I, I, but yeah, I'm, I'm learning. So uh, thanks for watching this. I still have a little bit left, so I'm not quite sure what I'll talk about. But I wanted to ask you guys, what are some beliefs that you have? What are some uh, symbolic uh, things within your belief system that you do? Uh, baptism is a, we say that believer's baptism is an outward sign of an inward belief. It's it's a statement saying that you believe in Jesus Christ and you believe in God. And it's, it's really a symbol, just a statement that you do when you're old enough to decide what you believe and you do it and there's, there's more to it than that, I think, but that's that's the basics of what it is. So what things are in your life or in your faith or in your belief system do you do that are signs showing that you believe something or that you think something is true? Uh, I would love to hear, so let me know down in the comments. Also, one thing that was super cool about this painting, I had it on display at Art in the Park, and it was kind of my big like eye attention, uh, eye grabbing piece that was sitting out front of my booth, and if you haven't seen those videos, go check those out. I've been learning a lot about doing art booths recently. It's fun and challenging and I love it. Um, but it's hard too. So anyways, go check those out. But it's cool because people from a distance said that they could see this shimmering and they actually thought that it was like stained glass or something because I used gold paint and then underneath the silver, or underneath the blue, there's like silver paint in there as well. So I guess from a distance, I was never able to get a good picture of it and I never got far enough away in the right light to see it. But lots of people commented they're like, oh, we saw that from way over there because of the shimmers and the shining. It was just, it was a really neat response. But um, in the blue especially, and then on the tops of some of these spirals you can see right now, I did put gold paint as well. All right, so about a year ago, I did a large, maybe a little longer, a little less, I'm not sure, about a year ago, I did a four foot by eight foot acrylic painting. And it was the first time I'd ever worked that large. It was so much fun. I absolutely loved the process. I started with spray paint then, 
and then I did details on top of it. If you've seen my And Yet project, uh, And Yet paintings, there's five videos in the series of me going through the process of painting it. Uh, you should go check those out. It was a ton of fun. I didn't get to speed paint it, but uh, it, I learned how to speed paint by doing it, so if that makes sense. Uh, but there's this addiction that I have now to painting large. It's just so, so, so much fun. I, this is on wood instead of canvas. Uh, it's a frame, or it's a painting that someone else had. No, I did it a long time ago. And the can, like the, how, the way it was set up, the frame and the, the mounting of it, someone else had done from in art school. And it's just such a fun adventure. So if you guys haven't worked large, I really, really challenge you to do something big. I am looking forward to getting into murals. Uh, there's a, a woman who I know who does a bunch in the community. I haven't been able to work with her because it's all on weekends, but I'm hoping to eventually. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, do let me know below if you liked this. Give it a thumbs up. And I make art videos at least once a week. I also do other assorted videos throughout the week. So be sure to subscribe for more.